Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series or mini series on Cobalt Core, a super fresh new roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played the demo about a month ago and I absolutely fell in love, couldn't wait for the game to come out, and it's going to be out now today. So in we're going to go to see what it's all about once more. So in we go. Cobalt Active Terminal, loading personality core corrupted. Personality core patched, encrypting memory bank, restarting personality core. Hello? Hey, wake up! Oh, my head. Good, your vital seems stable. What's happening? Had to wake you up from all that cryo sleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. Memories? I needed those, I assume. Sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms, and there's a ship off the bow, powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge, now! Alright, so we're gonna go over the basics again, uh, very briefly here, but then we're gonna be getting into a run. It's one of those games where the tutorial is a full-on run anyway, so don't worry, it's not gonna be too similar to the last video if you caught that. And if you didn't catch that, don't worry, you didn't need to. We'll go over the basics. Play cards out with your opponent, you draw five cards each turn. Each card will cost energy. The energy cost is in the top left, and you get three a turn. Use it or lose it. Does not stay between turns. So that is all very familiar, of course, but just you wait. There are some pretty big changes to the formula. Attack your enemy with attack cards. We have done that. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This one intends to attack you for one damage. So let's block their attack with some shield. Simple enough. You still got energy, so play out the rest of this turn yourself. Uh, so we have the ability to attack twice, attack once, or get a shield and then an additional temporary shield. Obviously, we're going to want to go for the multi-shot, but one second. All right. So there we go. Go for the multi-shot. You're out of energy, so now it's time to end your turn. That's a big attack. We can always use evade to dodge attacks, so play this card to gain an evade. Statuses are shown below your ship. Some have pass effects. Others ha are used as resources. Evade is a status that you use to move around. So spend an evade to dodge this shot. Any evade you don't use will carry into future turns. Unlike our energy. So evade being, you can, you know, probably notice right here, we have some columns. This is going to be doing five damage and it's intending to aim right here, which does hit my ship. So this game kind of has a little bit of an axis that we can move around in, and then boom, we actually can dodge the attack. You got the basics down, so remember you can always hover over cards, characters, and anything else for more info. Good luck out there. And just like that, the tutorial is over. So, hey, what do we got here? We got the ability to attack and draw two cards, instantly move two spaces to the right, and then attack. Gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a draw shot, multi-shot, get a bunch of damage in there. And I'll tell you what, I would use Scramble if I could, but we're out of mana there. Or energy. Attack and draw cards. We could go for... I mean, we don't have the ability to dodge. We'll go for, I guess, uh, a multi-strike into one block. So we can get out of this fight without any damage taken. Hit, move to the right two, and then go for a blast just for fun. Pick an artifact. Artifacts are held by the... Yep, okay. They're held by the ship's crew and change the rules of combat. You can have multiple on each crewmate. Gain a shield and evade on the first turn. Seems very nice. Multi-blast. Two energy. Two attack, two attack. Flux. Whenever this ship attacks, it gains a temporary shield. Decrease by one at the end of the turn. And then attack. Does it give me a temp shield on this attack as well? I would assume so based off of the ordering. Add two damage to all attacks, decrease by one at the end of the turn, and then exhaust. That's not bad. I do like the idea of going for this. Okay, I'm starting to remember. Right, the cobalt, the hyperdrive. Yeah, you blew it up. Maybe. I vaguely remember pushing a button, then the white light. Yeah, you blew it up. You guys, shut up. You have an argument every loop. I've heard it 517 times now. Fine. All right, we got the coordinates of the cobalt program then. Let's get there and stop the time loop. See, Riggs remembers. Usually she's the last one. I'm improving. So I do know that we are also in this full game. There's going to be more ships that we can unlock that have different, you know, I'm going to imagine starting maybe shapes. 
and possibly health and maybe even some decks. And we also can get different characters and we can, you know, choose between three different characters that we have here, which will manipulate what kind of cards we can get in our deck. We got shielding and shield manipulation, flexible movement and card draw, and then attacks and instant movement. I do imagine there's going to be some, like, basic things that are always going to be there as well. Reward cards. Is going to apply a status effect to itself. Also going to be doing two damage there. Interesting. I kind of want to try something. Let's move over. So we did get a temporary shield off of that card. So this should actually give me two, right? does indeed okay i really like that so multi-strike it's gonna be interesting the enemy has gained a status you might want to hover over it to see what it does if fired on will completely move out of the way left decrease by one every time it triggers gotcha gotcha So we don't actually have like a great situation. So I'll lunge out of the way and we'll get our dodge and we'll save that for next turn. We will gain a block. God, the music is so relaxing here. All right. So we do have a dodge over there if we want it. We got an attack and attempt shield. We have a permanent shield. Let's go for it. It doesn't have, they don't have their too much HP. We don't have to worry about it too much. If fired on, will it complete, completely move out of the way to the left? Completely move out of the way to the left. That is rough stuff. Okay. Scramble's not a bad call because we can get one movement and then save the other movement for, you know, next time here. Completely move out of the way to the right. Oh, perfect. That is actually a lot better. Go for block shot. So now we can move over to the right and go for a blast. Except for the fact that we actually don't kill off that. So I will go for a block. We'll take one damage. Okay, finally this son of a gun did not use the move that lets him get out of the way. There we are. Uh, an attack and an evasion sounds good. Another lunge overdrive. We are going to go for multi-strikes, so that one's not bad, but an attack and, ev and an evade in the same card sounds very helpful. Salim, hey, I have this extra scaffold lying around. I think it would look great right in the middle of your ship. Also, a great, it's a great tax write-off. What do you think? Add an unshootable scaffold right in the middle of your ship. Sure. It So it made my ship wider. Looks uh, uh, better, I guess. No refunds. <laughs> Made my ship wider, which could cause some problems, but we also have that one weird little hole in the middle, which we could possibly use. There's no ship part here. It's empty. Shots fired at this part will always miss. This part is weak. It takes more damage from attacks. It takes one more damage from attacks. So if I moved over two, we would only have to block two damage instead of the three damage and we can go for a little bit of a smack and it's kind of weird do I want to draw cards because I can only play the one I don't want to because I think I actually have some pretty good cards left in my deck so I don't want to draw them and not be able to play them that being right here we got flux Followed by, I guess I would say multi-shot would be the play, but it's, I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Maybe shouldn't have even gone for flux since we don't care about this. We could have gone for a basic shot, evasive shot. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been the better call. All right. Definitely moving over one. We have one shield on still, so let's go for... A little bit of a block get as much damage in as we can shooting right through the middle that's been very helpful on this fight okay good we save up that evade for later 
And then I'll generate one permanent block and one temp block. Interesting. So you did leave yourself vulnerable here, but I don't have a great answer per se. One, two, we could move left two. Hmm. So we could go for an evasive shot, basic shot, basic dodge. No, shield surge. Evasive shot, basic shot, shield surge. And we move right here, so we only take the two hits, which we do have guard for. Not a big deal. Okay, then we don't even have to move in order to be fine. Get wrecked. Gain two energy and exhaust. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Evade and draw two extra cards next turn. Certainly not bad. I'm going to go for extra battery. It's not... It may look like completely free, but it does take up a slot in the deck, and that is worth thinking about. Awkward. Very awkward. Because we don't know what we're going to be able to do here. If I move one to the right and then I get the... Uh, should I draw shot first? I don't want to do nothing this turn, so there's scramble. It's an idea. And we could go for an evasive shot and then move back over one. And shield surge. So that we got something done this turn. What do we got here? It's going to give you a card. This can't be dodged, so get ready. Give you a card wherever you are, going to raise their shields. Okay, so we actually have a pretty good turn here. I don't know if we bother popping extra battery here. To do one more damage, because we get a temp shield. That temp shield goes away at the end of the turn. Let's save. There's a better time to use that. Trash. Oh, triple trash. I think this is actually an okay time to use it. So if we move over one this way, we're only going to be taking the one hit. And we even get a save, one evade for next turn. All right. Three damage. Draw a shot, looking for the double strike. That's going to be our better card right now. we got to be careful. You're, they're going to be going for even more trash in the deck. I think that's going to cause some big problems. Still have an extra dodge. More trash. Okay, this is actually okay. I'm willing to do that. We got the three... We'll move to the side. We do. We are, we are leaving a lot of trash in here. We're going for a Hail Mary here that we can get four damage out uh, pretty quickly. The good news is I think we can. It's hoping for the double damage. We could have killed them this turn. We have four cards here. Two of them are basic shots. Yeah, we should be fine. Especially if we don't use our evade here, because he's only going to gain one shield. We can get him with two shots. We are guaranteed to draw him, more or less. Or no, we're not even more or less. We are guaranteed to draw him. Gain a shield, plus one for every time this is played in combat. Instantly move three spaces in a random direction for zero. Is really interesting, but I like the evasions. We're going to go down there. The first time you lose hull every turn, gain an overdrive, increasing the damage of your attacks. That's so helpful for us. Hattie, how's it going? Oh, you know, same old. What's this, loop 400 or something? 517. Well, let's get you on your way. Can I get you anything? 
Definitely want to remove a card. I think removing a basic shot is extremely helpful because we are getting a bunch of evasive shots. Hope you didn't need that. An unusually strong encounter usually comes with unusually strong rewards. What on earth is that ship? It has so many guns. Hey, did you guys know there's a big bounty out for a ship with your registration number? We didn't. Thanks for letting us know. No sweat. Well, better get going on our way. Eh, no. This is this part is brittle. It takes double damage from attacks. Alrighty. However, if I hit that spot, we'd be here. Evade, which is nothing. Hit, hit. We'd be taking three damage. We have one movement. We would need two more movements. It's a lot of effort for what is a little bit of a spooky gain right now. I think just going for this is probably going to be a little bit better for right now. Multi-shot, draw shot. Hope we get a... Uh, lunge could have been something. If we would have had lunge right away, I would have, I would have played lunge. That would have been, uh, that would have been something. Brittle shot actually works pretty well, or whatever it was. To so block the one. So now it's a little bit more interesting. I can't even get over there though. That's the issue. I can't get over there. We're taking a whopping hit of two. Should we go for the extra battery now? Probably not. But then it's almost like acting as a junk card in my deck. Since it's a permanent shield, I will. One times three. If I move over... One, two. One, two. If I move over two, we are still only taking three damage. God, why does the lunge have to be to the right? That screws us over. Still, it's a little bit tricky for us. I actually think it might be better to just say, not right now, thank you very much. Let's stack up a lot of evade for later, since that does stay. We'll be able to go for a big... There you go. Or you can just line it up for me. Okay. Bonk, bonk. So we're taking quite a bit. We're definitely doing that. If I move two to the right after this, we're... Only taking one, so it's not really a problem. Seems fine to me. That hole in the middle of the ship is pretty interesting. Oh my god. Boom. Boom. That lunge. Perfect. Finally. So, since we always want that to be going to the left, we sh that means we should be moving to the left. We should be moving to the left more. Whenever you move, move one further, but lose this at the end of your turn. Interesting. Scoot. Move right three spaces. Raise your max shield capacity by one for the rest of combat. Gain a shield. Exhaust. I think it's worth it. Every time you dis your discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile, gain an evade. You may remove two cards at repair yards. Permanently gain three max HP and heal three on pickup. I'm going to go for removing two cards. Hello. Hello. Can I get you anything? Go ahead and remove one basic shot. Because we have a lot of really good damage cards there. I could get rid of the basic block. I could get rid of the basic dodge as well, since we are, have been added, adding a couple uh, evasive shots. I don't really want to have to use that. And since we got that card that increases our whole, our shield max, seems like a good call. Raze, you're picking up from the hostile ships on the radar? No, why? My sensors are going crazy over here. Uh, you s let's see. No warp core signatures within a light year. Switching sensor to visual spectrum. Ah, big crystal. Huh? Big crystal. 
Ah, big crystal. <laughs> All right, so let's go over the extra batteries since I do see scramble. We have max value there. If I move left, I'm taking two damage. So I think I just take the one damage to the shield and say whatever. Okay, move to the right one is a good call. It's basically one attack and one shield. I'm going to go for a pulse barrier. Get that kind of like out of the way there. Evasive shot's good, but we should also use draw shot first then. I have three evasion. Let's go for the block shot. Son of a gun's got a lot of health. This is actually a fine position as well. Evasive shot, evasive shot. Yeah, I don't mind that. Part of me wants to lose hull in a sick and twisted way. Move two to the right and then shoot. I love that for us. That blocks the three. If we're going to be playing draw shot, we always want to do it first. Yeah, I'm actually not big on flux right now. I, I don't know. I thought I would want it more regularly. Okay. Temp shield. We could get hit so that we do extra damage. You know, could be a good call. If I move two to the left, we're taking three damage, which I can't block. Let's draw a shot first. Interesting. Or I could just move two to the right. Hell, I could move all the way out of the way. I feel like it's a waste, though. I feel like I need more mana to use Flux. I think maybe after this boss fight we'll uh, possibly get good situations for it. Evasive shots, definitely at least a good call. One, two, three, four. I like Shield Search. We can get out of the way, obviously. Question is if we go for the let's go for the lunge. I'm going to intentionally take one hull damage so that I can gain power and make this son of a gun pay. Do we move to the left in order to Yeah. Stay in their, their range there. All right. We take one damage, all of a sudden everything goes to hell for them. Two max hull, nine hull healed. So yeah, we could have taken even a little bit more. Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. That's definitely good for us. We have a way to increase our power, and we have a card that gives us shield per card played, or attack card played. So this is good. And it's a two-mana, one-time thing. Attack damage equal to total damage of enemy cannons attacks it also seems kind of crazy. It's a one-time parry. Three mana. Uh, this will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Oh, no matter where they are. Deals one hull damage at the end of every turn. Seems good, but Endless Magazine is very logical for us. Whenever you gain any shield, also gain a temp shield. Seems broken. Draw two extra cards every turn, but you're offered one less card in post combat, and you can't. But you also can't skip anything. Uh oh. Gain a max shield on pickup. Gain a shield at the start of every turn. If your shield was already full, take two hull damage. Odd. Very odd. Permanently gain a max shield. Gain a shield at the start of every turn. If your shield was full, take two hull damage. So we can't let our shield hit max from this passive or otherwise. Or no, from this passive. That's not that big of a deal. 
That's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go for it. It's a big, it's risky. It's a trade-off, but I, I dig it. So we're gonna be wanting to go for probably like more temp shields then. Nice, it's the first time you guys managed to beat that thing. Wait, really? How many times have we tried? You don't want to know. What even was it? These readings are correct. I think it's some kind of some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab in Cobalt's particle accelerator, but never so large. The microscopic ones try and kill you? Uh, not in a way that I was able to perceive, no. Let's keep moving. All right, so we're actually beyond the demo entirely now. This is all new stuff. Entering the Sapphire Cluster. Huh. NASA system is taking through us, uh, taking us through this lawless sector. This zone's full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one wasn't? Everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times in case we get boarded. Oh, hell yeah! Do I get a gun? Everyone but you. Alright. Add one damage to all attacks. Okay. Whoop, whoop. One shield and one shield max. Probably should have gone for a scramble. A little bit worried about getting the basic block, but we'll just have to make sure we trade some, some hits here. Endless magazine. Because, yeah, we, we want to take some hits so that we don't have too much shield. Not a scratch. So there's chip shots, extra battery. I think we could go for that now. Do I avoid this hit or take this one? That's me fully avoiding it already. Or fully, you know, hitting, getting hit, and then... I'll, I'll get some movement. I'll stockpile myself for later. And now we're going to want to go for that dodge. We have... Flux, though. Multi-shot, though. Chip shot, though. Look at all that armor, man. One, two, three. It's almost a sh shame to even use it. See, that's the thing. It's... I need to not get hit. Or I get not... Don't get hit by using this. This is really interesting, and it's a little bit disynergistic with the build we have going on right now. It's like a full-on evade, which is... Don't get me wrong. Very good. But it is also a bit strange. Okay. How much movement do we have? We could just lunge. We could shield surge and just take it all and save our movement. Which I don't mind. Now we have lunge again. Get out of here. Uh, X equals your shield. X equals shield. Huh? X equals shield. Block incoming damage. Yes, I get it. Overdrive. E Overdrive X. Shield. Shield equal two. What do you mean? So X is the shield. Yes. <laughs> the phrasing on it. X equals shield. I get it. Shield is X. Overdrive X. So we get overdrive equal to our shield. And then set our shield equal to two? Or is it saying... I don't know. Part of me wants to get it just to freaking find out. The phrasing on it's a little bit, huh? Though, getting a hail from a research vessel. Hail, are you available for a brief test of the great Dr. Bjorn's latest invention, the Dupletron? Might sting a bit, duplicate a card in your deck. Duplicate a card in your deck four times and lose three max health. Um. What do we dupe? Dupe the hell out of freaking Endless Magazine? Would that even be that good? 
I don't know if there's any card that I have that I want four of. I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna double multi-shot. I could upgrade pulse, I guess. I don't know. Having four pulse barriers and then removing basic block isn't the worst. That's kind of interesting. Increasing our shield max capacity. Let's do it. Let's go crazy with it, dude. Whoop. Cha cha cha. Hoo hoo. Then we're going to go down here and go for a double removal. Or should we upgrade finally? It just feels like it's value to go for the double removal. Getting rid of the basic block. I'm tempted to get rid of Scramble since we have uh, two evasive shots as is. Feels kind of decent. It's kind of expensive. I'm not sure that that's the best move. Hope you didn't need those. I might have. We'll find out. Watch out, if this attack hits you, it'll also give you a card. The enemy's gonna launch an object. Be careful, we don't know what it is yet. Okay. I think that's just what it is. I think it's then it sets your shield equal to two. Well, this is awkward. That seems unbelievably strong. I, I guess I didn't think that it was right because I thought it was too strong. But I guess it is just too strong. It's just allowed. Objects in the mid row are between you, between you and the enemy ship. You can block attacks. They are much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they're hit by anything at all. Oh my God! They have the empty as well. I didn't see. Okay, I got got. I got got. I got got. I don't even have any movement, so it's like, what am I going to do? Here comes some cards, I guess. I got got. Minus one energy on draw. That does suck. I don't want to get another one, so I think I'll... Eh, whatever the pulse barrier. I think it's fine. It's fine. We'll take one more, and then hopefully we stop getting them here. We're going to get the... Because um, this doesn't exhaust, which is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy to me that that does not exhaust. And I am definitely feeling, because of the amount of uh, extra pulse barriers I got, the fact that I am lacking movement. Unsurprisingly... because we have to cycle through them. So we're going to be looking for a little bit more. I guess we should have kept the other card, but hey, tis what tis. You got that empty spot there. Still a little annoying. I guess we have to evasive shot and waste it just to get here. This is going to do two damage. It cannot miss. Okay, well, the good news is I'm at least going to be doing some big boy damage this turn. If it can't miss anyways, then we might as well be over here. So we get that one damage off. All right, we get an extra power, which is something. Cannot miss. God, this guy sucks. We have to get the evasive shot. Like, we, we're going to need evasion. But the fact that I can't get my endless magazine is pretty annoying as well. 
I want to dodge this, but... I'm taking three damage. This only gives me one power. It's probably not that worth it right now for that cost. We're going to be taking the one hull damage here. It's not going to be good. But hopefully I can go ham. I guess maybe I start attacking these, huh? Get rid of oxygen leak. We could do multi-shot. Get this one out of the way. Do a little bit of damage. Would lunge help me? Not really. So, because I'm either going to get hit by this or I'm going to move over there and I'm going to get hit by that one. So. We could go for an evasive shot. Save the evasion for next turn, I suppose. I think that's fine. I'll take the one damage. That's obviously the annoying thing. Evasive shots, move. A little bit of multi-shot in the middle, I suppose. Or we could go for the lunge. Because then we could finally... There we go. We can finally just not draw anything. Because our deck is so thin that we're going to be drawing those very frequently. Go for a shield surge inverter. That's an interesting one. And just accept one turn of penalty here. Yeah, no, this isn't good. This is a fight that kind of it it bodies us. This fight bodies us. But we should at least, in theory, do very well here, one would have thought. Okay. You're at least dead next turn. This is not not our fight. Not our fight. Okay. I hate you. Give me lunch. I hate you! He moved so far! We have to evasive shot and just... Tell you what, I'm gonna dodge the one... Please don't move too far, or at the very least, let me lunge to hit you. Thank you. Good God. If we would have been able to do that the first turn, that would have been great. But yeah, that was just... That hard counters us. Uh, Two shield, heal a hull, exhaust. Cancel the intent of the targeted ship part. I actually really like that. It also should be able to increase in power as well, but... But ow, after that part. I have a feeling this is going to go a lot better. So I feel like a pulse barrier is a good start. Just getting it out of the way. Multi-shot. I do like it just getting some DPS out. Removing one of those from doing anything sounds nice as well. Let's, yeah, let's get some damage. Let's get some damage going. I'm going to save my evade because I have no idea what's going on, on with these. It's just a missile. Okay. Endless magazine going. So we could take the two. This should go right through. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. All right, we're in a much better spot. Chip shot. That's perfect. Okay, this guy's an absolute joke for us. 
which is so nice. Is that one? Th that one does three damage, is what that does. Not anymore. And I'm gonna get that out of the way. Yeah, this guy compared to the last one. It's Star Dog. I can't let you do that, Star Dog. That's silly. That's silly. See, that's what we're sh we're charging up for that stuff. That's the plan right there. Uh, goodbye. That's the plan. Uh, attack, stun, stun, charge. Your next attack will also stun. Stun shot B. I think that's the upgrade one. Power play, add a damage to all attacks, lose a hull. Attack and draw three cards. I mean, it's good, but... The stun shot sounds really nice. It's like a nice offensive thing. Gain energy every third turn. Don't mind that one bit. What's this gonna be? Watch out. If this hits you, it'll give you a status. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be able to... I get all the temp block that I needed. It doesn't really matter. We could have gone for the inverter. Stun shots. I very much like the idea of getting Endless Magazine a-going. Interesting. The pulse barriers are popping. Don't really want to move over to, because I don't want to get whatever that status is. I'm going to get the chip shot out of the deck here. Yeah. Let's get all of that shield. We know why. We're going for the big boy. We got a seeker. Chip shot's free there. That can't miss. Which is fine. Up here. Painful, but not that painful. Lunge is a good call. Eh. Wait, okay. Inverter lunge chip shot is something. Is it a good something? Depends what this status effect is, basically. Yeah, we'll, we'll use the movement. I'm not going to chance it. Still got a little bit of power up there. That's not doing anything, so I think what we do is... Oof. Kind of delays some stuff a little bit, I guess. Delays the power one turn. Okay, we should be good to go. I think we got you. Boop. 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 We got a really good setup. We just need a little bit more movement cards. A little bit more evasion cards would be good. Move left two spaces, attack, and then move right. That's so specific. Search, discard, move a card to the top of the dry pile. Dry pile. Could definitely see that being useful. Could see it being bad. This part has armor. It takes one less damage from attacks. Okay. Let's start charging up. I wish we could use the multi-shot as well there, but... It's all good. Going for that power upgrade. Stun shot. Is 
It's not actually that helpful. How much shield do I have? Not enough. We would take damage if we lunge over. If I flux first... If I flux first knowing I'm going to miss... That's actually fine, then. Does this go away at the end of the turn? Yes. Okay, that is all okay. Pick a card to move to the top of the draw pile. To the top of the draw pile. This is not bad. It's not bad at all. We take a two. We can go for an inverter and go absolutely ham. But then we're taking two damage. We could just not. <laughs> we could go for... Yeah, inverter gives us so much DPS. Then we get block shot. Then we're only taking one. Shoot. I kind of want to draw shot to see if I can get... What do we get? What do we want? Evasive shot, I guess, would be the thing. Then we can't get inverter, which is really what I wanted to charge up here. All right, for next turn. I mean, I'll take one damage. Or none? No, I'll take two damage! Oh, you dingus dongus. Well, it's all worth it because we get to do some murder now. I have a really strong build. But it also requires us to get hit a little bit. Move left, temp shield. That could be worth it. Quick thinking, draw two cards. That's so good. Move left to... God, I wish it wasn't spe in a specific direction, but I will take it. We're healing. We're healing. We're going a little wild. Repairs complete. I'm being hailed by a pirate in a cruiser-class warship? Hey, uh, hi, hello. Oh, boy. What is it? Put it on screen so we can all see. Sure, uh... Hey, it's you. Eh? Used to be so soft. This should be easy. Oh, boy. This part is concussible. Any shot here will cancel the part's intent. Going to raise temp shields for a turn. A lunge is a good call. One, two. If we, if I knew I was going to do that, I would have done Inverter first. So I should have done that first. Or should I get Endless Magazine first? Let's get Endless Magazine out of the way. Because it's also kind of like removing a garbage card from the deck. If I'm going to keep on not playing it, it's like removing a garbage card from the deck. Especially since we know that these are here. Okay, move two to the left. Yeah, there's a real shot that that's good. Okay. Charging up as many of those as possible. Okay, a chip shot here definitely makes sense. Get rid of the temp shield next turn. Oh, this part's weak and takes an extra hit from attacks. I mean, that's great. I think I save my movement. What would I... Yeah, what would I do that would be better? Move into that. Two damage instead. 
The fact that we shielded all that is kind of nuts. Okay. We don't need that extra battery here. The music is going ham. Do you like how much we can dodge just by doing that? No reason to stun shot. No reason not to stun shot there. Okay, this is getting a little wild. Inverter seems good, but scary. The fact you're able to get, oh, get away with that this turn is great because we, now we have as much power as we need to pretty much just take you down forever. We're all good. Uh, multi shot, lol, 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 chip shot for free, block shot, goodbye. There we go. I knew we were making a good deck. It just has <laughs> a little bit of uh, growing pains. Discard all your cards. Draw five new cards. I don't need another inverter really. Discard all your cards to draw five cards. It's not draw... That's worth it. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain an energy. That's kind of nice. Every time you gain a shield, gain a temp shield. It's really good, too. Start a combat, gain a power drive. On the second turn of combat, your enemy also gains a power drive. Eh. It's not bad. I just don't need it right now. This is good, but could cause me to overflow my energy. It's fine. We'll, we'll, I don't think we're going to have any shortage of taking damage to our shields. Huh, that was interesting. Yeah. You good? Yeah. I can fire the ship for a while if you need a break. No, I'm fine. I just... She really was me. Perry, tell me honestly. Do you think I'd look cool in a black jacket like that? And her purple eyeliner? So cool. Riggs. On to the next. What I'd imagine would be the last of the zones. Entering new zone question marks. This is where the ship's been taking us. What's that? Same energy signature as the Cobalt's warp drive, but without containment shielding. And energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty. Let's go kill it. Is that our plan? Eh. Oh, so we're not, we're not even in like a zone. Interesting. Interesting. If I do that, I don't have to use my move, which seems nice. Save that for when we need it. Like, maybe now. Um, I'm waiting for when this gets sketchy. Because I imagine it will. You're getting stronger each turn, I guess, is the, the big sketchy thing, I suppose. We need to be taking big hits, though, because otherwise we're going to start overflowing, and that ain't going to be good. Those out of here. Oof. Oh no. Wait, I'm not taking enough damage. Do I move to take enough damage? I'm not gonna overflow my shields from this. I need to take I need to take damage this turn. <laughs> like I really need to take damage. Um does this take make me take all damage? No, that one does not. Good. I kind of want to get... Let's get 
extra energy. Then I maybe do think twice trying to fish for inverter. Inverter. There we go. Hello. Well. I guess I'll just do that. Three shield, move left, and gain an evade. Button mash. Stun charge. Your next two attacks will stun. Instantly move three spaces in a random direction. I kind of... I think I'm at, in a spot where I'm going to take that. <laughs> going to probably go for an upgrade now. I mean, removing a pulse barrier could be good. I, I can't deny. Ignore all shields and armor. Three attack. I mean, three attacks is certainly good. Two temp shield whenever you attack. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Gain two energy and then an energy next turn. I kind of like that. Discard and draw three cards. Gets rid of the um, the exhaust on it. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe that evasive shot. Ooh, wait. Juke gives us two in a random and then an evade I to kind of like course correct. I actually really like that too. There's a lot of stuff here I really like. Oh, that also gives it exhaust. What about this? Uh, gets rid of the exhaust on it. Obviously, that could be useful, but it also is going to cause some problems. I'm going to upgrade Juke so that it gives us one in our control as well. So if we want to move in three in that direction, we can. Hello, dearies. What brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market today? Weapons. Cookies. Both. Have a look around. Gain a random upgraded rare card or remove it card. It's too late in the run to get a random upgraded card. In my humble opinion. I also think that uh, Flux is maybe not that important to us at this point in time. Come back soon! Pulse. Pulse. Okay. That was not necessarily on purpose. You have auto dodge. Oh, shoot. fine. Sucks that we drew the inverter there. We obviously didn't really want to. Put inverter back on top. We'll take the one. Doesn't really matter. Alright, here we go. For all the marbles. Whoop, that's eight power. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to leave the chip shot. What would I use uh, Think Twice for? So we could get extra battery? Do we have lunge? We would, have, we would draw an evasive shot. So two energy, evasive shot. One, two. I mean, you have the evade, so I, I actually think we just save it. Okay. So the first thing is uh, going to be a, a dodge. Okay. <laughs> and we one-shot you. <laughs> Gain a shield. A shield for every time you play it. Extra battery. Do we want another extra battery? I... How many turns do we have where we're like, eh, I don't want to play it? I think one is kind of enough. It may look completely free and like a no-brainer taker, but I think the answer is no. Well, this is a no-brainer play, though, for it. Ooh, uh-oh. Boop, boop. 
what is this? This is going to corrode itself? Question mark? Okay. I'll take the two hits to my temp shield. It just shouldn't really matter. What's, your thing is just you're, you're going to die over time. I think we can kill you pretty quick. We should probably get rid of those pulse barriers. Oh, well. Do I need an inverter? Not really. <laughs> cool. It works out. Uh, hit me with a another. Honestly, put Juke at the top of the deck, because if anything could screw me over right now, it'd just be him moving the other direction. He didn't. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Don't do it. All right, bye-bye. Easy fight, easy life. We basically had one really nasty fight, and then we've been fine. Attack for zero every time this card is drawn, this fight add two. That's not bad. Another endless magazine, it's not bad either, but I've been not being able to use it too much. Uh, when you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying it. Every fourth turn, gain an overdrive. Kind of fun. It's between these two. I'll get this for now. Permanently gain three max haul and heal three. Sounds great. Nothing wrong with that. Upgrade a card. What is this? Flippable. You can right-click this to be able to flip the... Okay, that's really cool that that's a thing. Stun shots. Shield surge. You know, I'm going to go for a multi-shot. Give that a triple, baby. There's a weak repeating signal coming from inside this asteroid. This is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. This message is a warning about danger. A warning left by a dead civilization. They feared their own creation enough to seal away here for eons. Haunting reminder, the fragility of life and the hubris of the living. Let's get digging. You are walled in. What are you going to do to me? What was that? Okay, it's moving now. Back up. Reverse. destroying them right now. Darn right. Yeah, if I could flip this right now, that would be would have been really useful. Oh well. Moving two to left and shooting is pretty good here. Okay. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Buried question mark relic. I've done it. <laughs> lose all of aid next turn. Three of aid, but lose all of aid next turn. Huh. Gain a stun charge every turn. I'll get an hour never. At the start of combat, get... Okay, that. Instantly move right, retain, flippable. Ooh. 
Gain two evade on the first turn. That's helpful. Every time an attack misses the enemy by exactly one space, the enemy takes a damage. Seems to be our grand finale here. I feel like I'm good to just go for another upgrade. Twice. Extra battery could be good. Get, making that flippable, I'm really, I'm really leaning towards that. Let's do it. Potentially the final boss. Is this our final waypoint? It is. The cobalt embedded in that singularity. We ready? Don't look so nervous, guys. Hey, Cat, how many times have we been here before? Zero. Oh. You guys will do great. Good luck in there. What do you mean? We can't fight the cobalt while it's inside that singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself to the cobalt now. Bye bye Well, hold on. Probably some other way to accomplish that. She's already gone. Okay. Immediate yikes. Armor con concussible. Weak points. Oh, baby. That's so much damage already. That's so nice. But let's get the pulse barrier, and then we're going to move over here to do the dodge. All right, that's centered. Can add card to my deck. If I move one, and then I lunge. I'll shoot this. And we're actually completely like safe here. We're gonna be getting a card added to our deck no matter where we are here. Take the inverter. Good time for it. Takes one more damage from attacks. We're gonna be getting double trash. Not much I can do about that there. One, two. One, two, three. She had one more movement. I do want to get rid of the trash too, though, but. One, two, three. Okay, do we get the... We could get extra battery this next turn, but I don't think I want to do that right now. Okay, did we get the missile flipper? No. That's understandable. Oof. saying it. Three damage. Move a card to the top. What do we want? Probably multi-shot. If I move one, two. One, two, three. I don't hate that. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Would you stop running, you freaking coward? Hmm. We're actually not taking damage this turn, which is sort of weird. We need to take a pretty gnarly hit next turn, otherwise we're going to start taking forced hull damage. Not the way I wanted to go, of course. Yeah, let's take this. Let's take this pretty big hit here. That actually helps us right now. 
Oh. Anderson. Do we have a... Well, we have a lunge. Huh. I really wanted to get there. If we move, we go for like a... Inverter, chip shot, stun shot? Oh, we have extra battery. Okay, pretty big. So we go for a... Faint and then a lunge. <laughs> kind of wild, but I'll take it. I'm assuming that's it. It's happening. Systems report. The cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. Are all the emergency blast doors closed? Yeah, we can't sustain this. The hole is literally melting. Come on, man. We beat the cobalt. What else were we supposed to do? Hello. Who's hailing us? Identify yourselves. Yeah, and make it snappy. We have like 30 seconds left. Max. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help you. But there are other souls tangled in this time knot. You mean Isaac and Max? And two others. Now, who shall I repair first? I feel like Riggs had a tough time this time. What is this? Be still. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that, like, my past? Is that why so many of my memories are hazy? Yes, you so more so than any. Now be still. Okay. Memory one. Oh, and Isaac, Drake, Max. Okay. Cobalt STC. This is G72 Artemis requesting permission to dock. Copy, G72 Artemis. State your cargo and passenger roster. Cargo sheets list... Uh, 30 tons of water, 10 tons of rations, 2 tons of science equipment. Copy. Proceeding to docking port 5. Please sign here, here, and here. Who are you? What happened to this last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I just started today. The last pilot got spooked by some pirates along the route, so he quit. So they insisted in, or installed a cannon on the Artemis and hired me. And you know how to handle yourself in combat? I do, yeah. Good. And you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from here on out. Unless I get blown up. So that's a memory one. Interesting. So that is a victory. What a strong run difficulty normal I was going to ask. Cards found 24 out of 207. Artifacts found 10 out of 87. New character deck. Isaac, your engineer, his cards create and manipulate midro objects like drones and missiles. Okay. Hard, hard, harder, hardest. What's hard do? Versus. Uh, events are harder. Start combat with a weak cockpit. <laughs> Plus one basic shot. Less pre-upgraded card offerings and minus one max health. That doesn't sound that bad. Get 40 different artifacts, unlock this. Win a run without Dizzy, Riggs, or Perry in your crew. Okay, I mean, any of the initial three. Win 10 runs to unlock this ship. I mean, okay, yeah, all right, sounds good. So it's these, this starts with warp prep, shield and evade in the first turn. Okay, so that thing that we got right at the beginning, you always get with this ship. All artifact map nodes offer an additional option. Okay. Really interesting. Show memories. I didn't mean to do that. All right. This crewmate will invite herself aboard eventually. Don't worry about it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Huh. So there's these two that we do know about. Win a run with Isaac to unlock Drake. Win a run with Drake to unlock Max. So yeah, we have a pretty clear plan up ahead. The question is like, who are we going to remove? Shielding, I mean, I'll probably, I'll, I'll say probably get rid of Dizzy for this one since that was pretty core to our, uh, <laughs> Cobalt core to our deck. Uh, I think that that'll be the thing. But alas, alas, uh, the game is so good. This game is so freaking good. I love that all the difficulty levels are unlocked right in the beginning. I like that they're fully clear uh, about what they are. And I like that it's not like a 20 ascension level thing. I like that so much. 
And I also like that it seems there's only in-game rewards for hard, which means that anything beyond that is for your personal satisfaction, which I really, really like. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow. This is going to be a, uh, like I said, a series or a mini-series. If you guys want a lot of this, let me know in the form of a comment down below. And uh, hey, we'll make it happen, Cap'n, because I love this game. It's so good. It feels like a nice, actual step forward in the roguelike deck builder space. But last, last, that's that. This is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. My name is Retromation. cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.